How to leave things in the past and reprogram your mind for success. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy. And on this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now today I'm filming in Ireland and I'm on a beautiful beach by myself. It's about 30 degrees here and it's actually raining and snowing at the same time and the sun's out. It's the weirdest thing. But anyway, I wanted to make this video for you folks because I thought about a, a good friend I talked to yesterday. His name is Mario. And I'll tell you a little bit about what I shared with him. I had the opportunity to study last year during the pandemic to be an electrician. Um, basically, when I'm doing property management and working on properties, electrical problems come up pretty often. And sometimes it's a real pain to find people that do the work. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna sign up over here and I'm gonna learn some basic electrical plumbing skills so I can fix stuff in emergencies. It's worked out great for me. But what I didn't think about was the awesome opportunity that was gonna be presented to me. That being that I got the opportunity to work with Homeboys, which is a program in Los Angeles started by a Catholic priest that basically gets inmates, people that are in, in gangs or have been in prison and retrains them, gives them job skills to get, get back into the community. It's an awesome program and that guy is a saint. He's really helped a lot of people. I'm forgetting his name right now and I don't have any wi out here, but I think his last name is O'Brien. <clears throat> So basically I was in this program and almost everybody I was in the class with was either in a gang, had been in a gang, or had been in jail. Some of the people had been in jail for like 40 years. It was amazing. Some of these guys were like in their 50s, 60s, and then they would like raise their hand and say, sir. And I was like, what? Every time I had to go to the bathroom, I just go to the bathroom. We're adults. It's adult school. And these guys would ask the teacher and I thought, oh, it's because they're still thinking of them as if they were in prison. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just an interesting observation. And I learned a lot from these guys. They really, it just goes to show you, you can learn from anybody. And we all are special and we all are intelligent because we all have our own life experiences. One of the things I learned from these guys is how important it is to leave things in the past and reprogram your brain. So in this example from my friend Mario, he was telling me about how his dad had some problems with drugs, been in jail he'd had a lot of problems and there had been a lot of subsequent problems in the family with drugs and violence and etc and how that had affected his him growing up along with the fact that the neighborhood he grew in it was full of gangs it was violent there was a lot of drug activities a lot of negative experience he's had throughout his childhood um, and how do you get past that stuff well as I was telling Mario and I, I tell a lot of my patients we're kind of like computers and we have to reprogram ourselves. So if you spent the majority of your childhood and your adulthood in jail or you were out in gangs or you're selling drugs or whatever it is you did, it's fine. It's in the past. Just think of it as in the past and now is day zero. You're just being born. You're starting over again, but you have to re erase all that reprogramming. How do you do that? Number one, I think it's really important to go to church, whatever church you belong to. If you're Jewish, Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist, go to a church and start getting around people that are good. Leave a lot of those friends from the past in the past. Don't hang out with them anymore. You are the average of the five people you hang around with. So if you're hanging around people that are ex-drug dealers or gang members or still are, then you're not going to get too far. You're going to stay in that kind of mentality. You don't want that. You want to get away from that. So make a new set of friends. Like I said, church is a good way to meet people. Join social groups. Join the Masons. Join the Rotary Club. The Lions Club. Social service groups. If you're working a lot, you don't have a lot of time. Some of those people, like I'm, an, I'm a Mason. We meet like once a week for a couple of hours. It's not a big time commitment. But the... The effects of the people that I meet there affect me all throughout the week and throughout the month. <laughs> I haven't actually been for a few weeks. I've been traveling 
but I think about my Mason brothers almost every day and I miss talking to them. I'm, I'm actually looking forward every day to going back just to seeing them and saying hi to my buddies over there, Frank and Mike and all the other guys over there that have taught me so many cool stuff I get to hang out with. So start a new group of friends. Number two, read. Reading is really important. Even if you read a few minutes a day, it's not a big deal. Sometimes people tell me, I don't have enough time. Well, let me tell you, I was looking at a study that I read from the University of Southern California, my alma mater, USC. And they said that people in LA, if they listen to audiobooks every day while they're in the car, just in the time they're driving home, you know, and driving to work every day, they would have the equivalent to two semesters of college work completed every year. So think about that. For people that think they're too busy, <laughs> you can get the equivalency of a college education by just listening to audiobooks in your car. So I have friends that drive, like my friend Joanna, she drives like two, three hours from Fresno to LA back and forth. You can spend five hours listening to books. If you have kids, have your kids listen to books. Listen to books on personal finance, on like bibliographies or biographies, you know, about, you know, famous people like Thomas Edison or, or George Washington or anybody that inspires you, you know, Elon Musk. Listening to those books is great. You could do it while you're in the car. Audio books, it, for me, is kind, has been kind of like an information revolution for me. It's been like almost like the invention of the, com of the computer. I listen to so many audio books, it's not even funny. <laughs> I've been on this road trip in Ireland. Not only am I enjoying this beautiful scenery you see behind me, I'm listening to about 10 to 12 hours a day of audiobooks. I've downloaded about 15 books from my Overdrive account, which is a free app, and you connect it to your library. They have it here in Europe, they have it in the United States. Wherever you live, go get a library card and download free audiobooks and start listening to books. If, if you don't really want to listen to science and technology or math, you don't have to. Listen to stuff to interest you. Everybody has an interest in something. I have a friend, Nestor. He's a general manager for, for a big uh, grocery store chain, food, food for Less Los Angeles. He loves animals ever since we were kids. And he would watch animal shows whenever he can. So watch animal shows, watch, listen to bib bibliographies, you know, learn a new language, learn how to speak Italiano, yo parlar l'italiano un po', uh, learn some, some Italian, some French, think of a new language, anything you can do to reprogram your mind and make yourself a different person. Think about your past and say, hey, you know what? I wanna be a different person. Now, the third thing I really like, so first go to church. Number two, read. Number three, make some new friends. Some, join some new social groups. Number four, start doing some positive affirmations. Okay, on YouTube, you can look up videos on positive affirmations. There's some that are eight hours long, 10 hours, 12 hours long. When I go to sleep at night, I listen to those. Not every night, because I don't need it every night, but sometimes I listen to it while I'm digging holes or while I'm cleaning my house. Whenever I feel like I have some self-doubt, everybody has some self-doubt. Everybody gets down. It's part of life. It's okay. It's not a big deal. You just deal with it. So if you feel like, oh, I'm a little overwhelmed right now from work or my relationships or I don't have any money or my family life or my girlfriend or my boyfriend or whatever, put some positive affirmations on and listen to them for eight hours or 10 hours until you drown out whatever negative energy you have in your mind. Now, I actually learned this from, from listening to, lex to some lectures from a shaman, <clears throat> and I think it's so true. The world is full of positive and negative energies, right? And sometimes those negative energies, they attach to us and they kind of speak into your ear. In psychology, they taught us about the id, the ego, and the superego that Sigmund Freud thought of. And these things are little voices in your head that are telling you, you know, I don't know, go spend a thousand dollars on a, on a, on going out to a bar and getting lots of girls or something. <laughs> and then the other, the voice of reason is saying, hey man, just go buy a six pack, go home and chill out with your 
girlfriend or whatever and save the thousand dollars you pay your rent so you're always balancing extremes in your mind everything is going to be like that and you want to balance this out by using positive affirmations to wipe out the negative thoughts you might have the sadness the sorrow you know if you've had traumas in your life i have cousins and family i've been in wars and they suffer almost daily they have nightmares they have anxiety that's going to take time but you can start the process of reprogramming by listening to positive affirmations every day i actually used to work at the va hospital which is the veterans affairs working with soldiers and i learned a lot of things about trauma one of the things i learned is that you have to reprogram because you're programmed for self-sufficiency and for survival when you're in the military at home I want to see my family I want to be able to chill out so that's understandable but now when you go back to the real world you want to reprogram yourself for success and get out of that mindset that's kind of what happened to my friend Mario he grew up in a wet in a place that was kind of like a war zone gangs drugs like sadness sorrow suffering even though they were in the United States in East Los Angeles so he has to take the time and the effort to reprogram and the fact that he called me to talk about this tells me that he's ready no one's gonna make you you're gonna do it whenever you're ready and I could tell that Mario's ready so this video is actually dedicated to him and some other friends I met over in homeboys and you guys listen to these positive affirmations every night before you go to sleep put it on your room look up positive affirmations on YouTube and just let it play all night. Basically all it says, our voices, it says, you are a winner. I have confidence in myself. I love myself. I am a good person. I am an honest person. I'm kind, I'm happy, I'm wonderful. I'm a beautiful person. And you listen to this for eight hours every night, it's really gonna help your self-esteem. It's gonna help you get on the right track. It's gonna help you reprogram crowd out those negative thoughts that are holding you back in life. That's what you need. You need to get rid of that stuff. You need to wipe the computer clean, right? Think of it as your, your Apple laptop and it's full of viruses, which really doesn't happen. But <laughs> let's say you have a, uh, a regular Dell computer with Windows and it has viruses. You need to clean, clean the hard drive. You need to get rid of all those viruses. The only way you're gonna do it is with reprogramming, okay? Now, another thing you gotta be conscious of, this is another thing I, learned, I noticed while being around these guys when I was in East LA. A lot of these guys are talking a lot of trash and, and they're negative. They got a negative mindset because they've had negative experiences. That's why you don't want to hang around with people like that. But also the music they listen to, man, <laughs> this rap music, I love rap, but not the rap that's like full of bad words and, and degrading women, all that stuff. That's not good for you. It's bad, and it's negative programming with your mind. Some of these guys are listening to Spanish music, like this Mexican uh, corridas or whatever it was. It was talking about drug trafficking or drug violence, whatever. No, none of that. That stuff's not going to help you. That stuff, I'm sorry to say, but it's all for losers. <laughs> and it's, for, it's stuff that's going to program you to be a loser. So listen to Mozart or Beethoven or listen to Britney Spears, or I don't know, listen to something where they're not talking bad about any group of people or, or women or bad words, none of that stuff. Don't listen to things that are negative, whether it be your music or your movies or anything like that. Don't watch porn. I'm sorry, but it's just not good for you. It doesn't give a good energy to your life. You know, if you wanna live a good life, you need to live a wholesome life. And if you had traumas in the past, you need to reprogram. You don't need to be putting porn in your mind or listening to rap. And also don't, don't watch things that are violent or negative. Like I love to watch movies. I like going to the movies with my family, but I don't watch violent movies. I like action movies like Fast and Furious. I love that kind of stuff or Transformers or, or the Marvel series of, you know, the Avengers. I love all that stuff, it's awesome. But I don't watch the movies where they're like cutting people's guts out or whatever. No, man, that doesn't serve you. You don't need that. And it puts a negative energy into your mind and it creates a negative vibe. 
And if you want to live a positive life, if you want to be successful, you want to be hanging out in beautiful places like this and have beautiful opportunities op open to you, you need to develop a beautiful mind and a beautiful mindset and think positive and clean all the negative stuff out and only put positive things into your mind, okay? So thank you from Keem, Ireland. This is Dr. Ernesto Martinez. God bless you. Goodbye.